Good morning, everyone. Here's another one of our workout of the days. This is going to be gladiator glutes. I'm using some lighter resistance loops or smaller ones rather. So if you have a set at home, you're looking for a heavy, um, a medium and a lighter resistance. And if you only have one loop, you can still do the workout. It's going to hit upper body, abs, and um, obviously your glutes and your legs. And just really briefly, I just wanted to mention that none of us are taking this social distancing lightly. We all arrive here in separate cars. Our mats are at six feet or more apart and we don't congregate before or after class. Um, all the workouts that we decide to do are, are done via text or uh, phone calls. Um, so everybody stay safe. We are doing our part um, and make sure you do yours. Okay, let's get to work. All right, we're gonna be starting on the floor. Um, and so if you're pretty proficient with using the loops, you're gonna be stacking all three of your loops. So you're looking for your heaviest to be on the bottom and it's gonna go a few inches above your knees. Um, and then we're gonna stack on top of the heavy, the medium, and on top of that, the light. So you basically look like a big rainbow <laughs> at the beginning. And then we manipulate the loops as we go. Uh, if you've never used loops before, they can be frustrating. They can slide all around. Sometimes you end up wearing a belt halfway through. Um, I've seen them fling across the air. Uh, just have patience with yourself. I'm going to be doing one set of each exercise in thinking that if you'd like to repeat this, you could um, go through the whole workout again or do a set in the morning and then a set again at night. Um, your glutes and the smaller muscle groups that work in the upper body can completely handle that. Don't worry about having to give them rest or anything. So we're going to be starting with a bridge series first. So starting with the traditional bridge, I tend to keep the repetitions in these higher as well. So once you're set up with the loops about a few inches above your knees, you're going about three or four inches, we're going to lay down on the back, right, tuck your chin down a little bit, keep your, your neck safe, arms down by your sides. And so we want the legs to be about hip distance apart, so you're feeling some resistance on the loops. And one of the things loops are going, to, are going to want to do is to track your knees in. You want to be able to fight that so your knees, hips, and ankles are in one parallel line. So coming up here for 15 bridges, three, two, one. We're pressing up here for one, and down, and two. And as we're bridging up, we're going to be pressing through to your pubic bone, three. So you're looking for some good height here. Four, big squeeze, five, and six and seven and down and eight and down nine make sure you're exhaling at the top ten and down five more five and four again really going for some height here three big squeeze two one more time and one and we will move rapidly from one exercise to the other with min some minimal breaks here. Bring the legs all the way together, and we're going into bridge to clamp. So body, the upper back and shoulders again, and we lift up with the legs together at the top of the movement, push out against the loops, bring the knees back together and lower down. 15 of those, here we go. So we come up, press out, together, down. Up, press, together, down. Three, press, together, down. Four, after you're feeling these, together, down. Five, press, together, down. Six, press, together, down. Seven, press, together, down. Eight, push out, together, down. Nine, push, together, down. Ten, Push, five more, you're doing really good, just keep it up, just five more. Up, push out, together, down, up, push, together, down, three more. Up, press, together, two more. Up, press, really targeting that glute need one more time. Up, press, together, and down. So the last one here, we're gonna move to a first position bridge. So you're looking for a little bit of a pizza shape with your feet. Heels are going to be together, toes are turned out, and when you come into that position with your feet, your legs are naturally going to open out against that loop. Body readjusts the upper back and shoulders, and we are looking for a big dig in the side of the glute there, that nice little dancer's dent that we call. Here we go, pressing up. One, and down. Two, 
So I know maybe a temptation here to come up on your heels. Three, keep your feet flat. And four, we want to isolate the glutes and not put so much into the hamstrings. Five, and down. Six, good, exhale the way up. Seven, and eight, good, big squeeze. And nine, and 10, we have five more, they should be burning. Five, and four, it's how Jessica Carey concentrating. <laughs> Three, and two, and one, and release. Now give those knees a hug into your chest. So you get a nice little stretch there. All right, so we're gonna be transitioning up to a seated position. And while we sit up here, you're going to remove your top loop, that light loop. So that's going to come down if you have it on. So we're going to work a side series here using our heavy and medium loop. And if that ever gets to be too much, you can always pause the video, take one of them off. They can't, so <laughs> we'll have to see how we do. We're going to swing the legs over to the left and lay down on our right side, sort of like we're going to the beach, just relaxing, don't we all wish? So propped up on the elbows. We're gonna have the legs stretched out so they're completely even with your upper body, which means you're gonna to have to use your top hand for a little bit of balance, either in front or behind you. So we're gonna start with just a good old fashioned leg lift. Try to keep the top of your foot angle down a little bit, belly in. Three, two, one. We come up one and down, two. So as we're lifting, we're really trying to relax the foot that's on top, four, and I have a little angle down with my foot as well, five, and six, again, we're going to 15, seven, and eight, especially these longer repetitions, nine, there's a little bit of an exercise in your willpower too, 10, right, because they take a little while to get through, five, and four, and three, we have two more, here's two, and one more, and one, and again, very little break in between. So from here, we're gonna float that top leg up, and this time I'm gonna ask you to flex your foot. It's about hip height. We're gonna bring the bottom leg up and down. So from here, bottom leg comes up. One, and pushes down. And two, and down. If you don't meet your top foot, that's okay. That's just the direction we're aiming at. Four, and down. Five, and six. Here's seven. Big squeeze. Eight, getting a little of that inner thigh nine, pressing down using the outer thigh, 10, stabilizing on your top leg, 11, getting that nice glute knee, 12, and 13, two more, here's 14, one more, and 15. Okay, two more exercises to go in the side series. Moving into scissors, float both legs off of the floor. We're gonna start by taking your bottom leg towards the screen first and your top leg away from the screen. Three, two, one, so pressing away here, one, and scissor two and three four five six seven eight good nine ten five more here's five four three two and one and down finishing up right into the clam Bend the knees up at an angle. So we're not looking for the knees to be straight in front of the hips. They're angled down about 30 degrees. Feet are flexed. We're gonna keep the inside edges of the feet together as we peel apart the top knee. Here we go. One and down. Two. So now if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm working three, that or the area on the glute knee. Four, put your hand there, right? You can feel that muscle contract. Five and six. Almost there. Seven eight and nine and ten five more here's five don't worry about if you're opening up not enough four it's just a little bit three we don't want to be rocking back two and one all right so before we go to the other side we're going to throw in a little bit of an upper body series and that will give your opposite leg a break so let's pull the knees in Grab your lighter loop, we're gonna to come to a kneeling position facing forward. All right, so in a kneeling position facing forward, we are gonna still use a little bit of resistance on the loop, not crazy though. 
hold on to the sides of the leg loop and bring it out in front of your chest. Now from here, we're gonna pull back, bringing the loop to the top of the chest. I'm gonna ask for an angle down on your elbows, not straight across, we're working middle back here. So squeeze your bottom, and here we go, pull back here. One, and forward. Two, so as we pull back, we angle down a little. Three, I want you to feel your middle back here. Four, big squeeze. Five, and six. That middle back area is a bugger. Seven, that's where we tend to round as we age. Eight, the next little posture. Nine, exercise. And 10, we have five more. Here's five, and four, and three, and two, one more, and one. All right, we're gonna put our forearms inside the loop now. So meaty part of the forearms right up in that loop. You need me some kind of some karate kid arms. So arms are nice and straight, thumbs up to the ceiling. We do a nice front raise. Here we go, we come up one and down. And you're gonna pick two, how high you wanna lift your shoulders up. Your arms up three to work your shoulders and four. This one gives you a nice little burn. Five, and six, and seven, eight, here's nine, keep squeezing your bum, ten, we have five more, here's five, and four, and three, we'll be returning to upper body a little later, two, and one. Woo! All right, you can put that light loop down. We're gonna go to the other side for our leg series. So it's like all the way down on the left. We're over 15 of each exercise, and there are four exercises. All right, so keeping your body nice and long, keeping the legs even with the upper body, top hand in front or back for support, top leg lifts. Here we go. One and down. Don't forget that little angle down the top foot. And three. So although we're not like revving the heart rate up in this class, you know, we're not jumping around, five. If you've taken this class before with me, six, you know that I do not stop the whole class, seven. So there is a little bit of a cardio element, eight, and nine, and 10. We have five more. Here's five, and four, and three. So we're just gonna keep on going, two, and one. All right, both legs are gonna float up here, and we're gonna drop the bottom leg and then lift it up and down. Here we go, bottom leg goes up and down. Two and down. Three, exhale, four and five. Little pre-fatigue, too, for the top leg. Six, for those scissors coming up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Five more, here we go. Five, that top leg should be burning. Four, bottom leg's getting a little inner thigh. Three, and two, and one, and we'll bring both legs down. All right, moving into scissors next. Float both legs after about hip height. Bottom leg is going forward to the screen first. So here we go, we go one, and scissor, two, and three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, keep legs close together, three as they pass, two, and one, and down. All right, last one in the series is the plan, bend the knees up, but we do have an angle down in this version. Feet are flexed, inside edges of your feet stay together. Here we go, feel it apart, one, and down. Two. So don't look again to lift the leg so high. Three that you rock the back. You're going to keep the core engaged. Four. And five. Squeeze. Six. Seven. Eight. And we've been giving you nine 30 minute videos. Sometimes a little over. Ten. But most of the classes here at Lois are uh, 45 minutes long or an hour. Three more times. So you can repeat this exercise video twice. Three, and two, and one. Woo, all right. Pull the knees in. We're gonna come on up, and we're just making a small change by taking the medium band off. I'd like you to keep the, the heavy band on the bottom. 
And once again, we're going to grab our lighter loop. Now we're coming into a V-sit lap pull down. So we're starting with the legs hip distance apart. We're going to take our light loop and hold on to it. And bring it above the chest. So we're not above our head. We're angled slightly in front of the chest. So we're focusing on the upper back here. So we're going to come back a little bit into a V-sit, not a C-sit, right? We're not collapsing. And as we pull down to the top of the chest, stretch your elbows across your shoulders. So here we go. Pull down. One. And squeezing the middle top of the back here. Two. And three. Four. Keep speed. Five. And a little add to the two. Six. And seven. Find a focal point. Eight. And nine. So if you want to tear that loop in half. 10, 5, and 4, and 3, big squeeze, 2, one more time, and 1. Woo, all right. Here's one of my favorite ones for core, because it's unconventional, right? We don't usually do stuff like this. So we're going to sit back a little. You're going to bring your legs wider than hip distance. You have a little resistance on that heavy loop. We want a soft bend in the knees and the feet to stay flexed. Now I'm gonna take my loop on the foot that's further away. So it's gonna go right around the arch of that foot. Now the hand that's closest to the screen is gonna be fingers down, palm in, inside the loop. I'm gonna hold on to it and sit nice and tall. Now I'll show it to you here. So I'm gonna roll down facing forward, and then when I roll up, I'm gonna turn away from the screen over that back shoulder. But every time I roll down, I return back to facing front. So we're going to break the rule of 15 on this one and do 10 on each side. Three, two, one. So we roll down, look forward. Now come on up and twist. And roll down, look forward, two. And come on up and twist. And whatever you want to do with that back arm to help keep you balanced. Three, and forward, tuck, and up, four. And forward, tuck, and up, five. Five more. Here's five. Ooh, really feeling these. And four. And three. Two more. Here's two. One more. And one. And finish that last twist. All right, take the loop on the foot that's closest to the screen. And we're going to use the arm that's further away, palm in, fingers down. And again, remember, as we roll down, we're looking forward. When we come up, we're going to face towards the screen. So here we go. Rolling down, facing forward, coming up into a four, one. And again, whatever you want to do with that front arm, two, just to help you keep you balanced, and three, and your body will tell you, and four, good, keep going, and three. Five, we have five more. And five, so we want to use a light loop on this one. And four, because a heavy loop would just make it actually easier. It kind of slingshot us right up, right? Two more. Good. One more time. And one. All right, we're going to take this light loop and put it right on top of that heavy loop. And we're moving into an exercise called the Hello Dolly. I don't know who Dolly was, but this is how she said hello, so we're doing the exercise. All right, we're going to be flipping over onto the belly in a moment, so let's finish this one here. So light loop over the heavy loop. You can have your hands supporting behind you. We're in a V-sit for this one, or hands out in front. Flexing your feet, you're going to make sort of an M shape out and then back in. Three, two, one. So we're going to open it out, tap, and in, tap. That's one. And out, and in, two. So M shape out, M shape in, that's three. M shape out and in, that's four. Out and in, let's do five more. Here's five and in, you can always bounce with your hands off the mat. Four and in and three, big squeeze in and two and in, one more and in. All right. To balance the body, we're going to flip over onto the belly for a little bit. You can keep your loops exactly where they are. So we're going to stretch out here on the mat. And you're actually going to make a little pillow for your head by bending your elbows and putting one hand on top of the other. So forehead is going to stay down on your hands. Elbows are going to stay down the floor. 
We're gonna pull the legs out with some resistance on the loops, and we're working here by just lifting the lower body, double leg lifts up and down, upper body stays down. Three, two, one, we lift up here. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, good, really feeling that squeeze. Four, right in the glutes. Nice work for the posterior chain. Five, and six, and seven. Squeeze eight. Up nine, here's 10, we have five more. Here's five, and four, and three, and two, one more, and one. All right, we're gonna do a little modified bird dog here on the belly. So keeping your elbow bent, the elbow that's further away from the screen, extend the arm that's closest to the screen out in front. We're gonna work with the so if I'm mirroring you, it would be my left leg and my right arm, or the back leg away from the screen and the arm that's closest to the screen. Now we're gonna weight down the loop with the other leg, the leg that's not going to move, and keep our head down on the opposite arm. So it's an opposite arm, opposite leg lift, or it's also called bird dog. Three, two, one. We lift up here for one, down. Two, down. Three, and again, we'll just do 10 each side. Four, five, Six, seven, reach for length, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. All right, do the other side. Three, two, one. We come up here. Ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, big squeeze, four, and three, and two, and one. All right, last one here. Forehead goes back on the little pillow on your hands. We're gonna lift both legs up and press out against the loop. It's sort of a little bit of a pulse movement, so this is gonna go by a little bit quicker. Forehead down, legs with resistance, legs float up, and we're gonna pulse out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! All right, we're gonna sit back to child's pose. Okay, we're, we have a couple more series left. So in this next series, we're on the hands and knees and we have a few exercises. I'm gonna leave it up to you as to whether you'd like to keep the heavy with the light on top or just go to the heavy. It's completely up to you. I like the light on top of the heavy. It helps to keep the bands in place and it tends to slide around a little bit on this series. We're going to be on the hands and knees. If you need to be on your forearms, that's fine. Just be mindful that the loop may slide a little bit easier on the forearms. Now we're going to start with our knees together. So there's very little resistance on the loop. I'm going to pull the leg that's facing the screen out first. Now if I need to readjust the loop on my base leg, I'm going to readjust it before I begin the exercise. Flex your foot and we're looking for a little bit of a lift here. Not height, we're looking for length and we're looking for a big squeeze in that loop. Three, two, one. So we're going up here. One, Little tap. Two. So the leg doesn't have to go high. Three. You just want to engage the loop. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keep squeezing. Ten. We have five more. Here's five. And four. And three. Two and one. Good. Pull the knee in and now we're going to work on that same leg with a 90 degree angle lift. So flex that front foot again and we're working with lifting the leg up at a 90 degree angle. Three, two, one. So we're coming up here. One and down. Big 90, 90. Two, down. Three. Now you could switch legs, right? Four, but that's going to make it a little easier on the glute. Five. So we want to sort of really fatigue that muscle group. Six, and seven, let's just do three more of these. Three, and two, one more. Little surprise, we're going right to a fire hydrant for 10. Here we go, 10, and down. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, feeling these, six, and five, four, 
three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna come to a downward facing dog here. Gives those legs a little stretch. And we're gonna take the series on the leg facing away from you. So again, 15 straight leg lifts, and then 10 and 10 where we're at 90 degrees, both up and up to the side. So coming down onto the knees, knees are together, stretch back that back leg, flex the foot again, readjust the loop on your base leg before you begin, so you're not fiddling with it midway through. Three, two, one. We can do one and two, try to keep the head neutral. Three, four, five, tap down, six, tap down, seven, everybody at different degrees, eight of flexibility as well, nine, we all have different lever lengths, ten, five more, five, and four, three, two, and one, all right, bring the knee in, we're going to that 90 degree lift, on three, two, one, here we go. One. So what I mean by that is what may be easier for somebody else, may be really difficult for you, three, depending on your degree of flexibility, strength, and on your lever lines. Up. Good. Five more times. Here we go. Five. 90, 90. Four. And three. And two. Big squeeze. One. And right into those five hands. I know. Ten. And nine, eight, seven, and then pressing out, six, five, almost there, four, we're doing it with you, three, this is not easy, two, and one. Woo, all right, sit back in child's pose. We're not out of the woods quite yet, but we are going to take the loops off the legs, hallelujah. So turn around. Okay, we're going to remove the loops off of the legs, but we need to keep our lighter loop with us. So we're going to focus a little bit on some core exercises using the lighter loop. And starting here with the lighter loop around the arches of the feet. So we're just going to place it nice and right around the arches of the feet. And then once you have it there, come lying down onto your back. Alright, so we're going to practice a bicycle pick first with just the legs. So if you'd like to make a little cushion for your lower back, you can pyramid position your hands at your bottom. That just make, makes it a little bit more comfortable sometimes if you're on a hard surface. So we're going to do a little push and pull in a bicycle movement with our legs, nice and slow. So leg that's going out first is the one facing you towards the screen. Three, two, one. So pushing and pulling. One, slow switch. Two, and three, switch. Four, switch. Five, and six, switch. Seven and eight, switch. Nine, one more, and ten. Pull both knees in. And now we'll add the upper body with the bicycle twist. So we're going to go for 16 so we're even. Fingers behind the head will be twisting away from you first. Lifting up. All right, three, two, one. We twist one, slow switch, two. This is how we're going to switch on your own. Three, so keep it controlled. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost there, ten, we have six more so we're even, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. All right, pull the knees in. Now while your knees are pulled in, you can reach down and pull the loop. So we're going to take it above the meaty part of your calf muscle. So everybody has that sort of that meaty part of the calf. Right, we're going to go the loop just below that. So it's about mid shin. Take the legs up, and you're going to press a little resistance out of the loop. Now we're doing some lower leg lifts, but we're going to hold an upper body isometric contraction while we do that. The distance as far as the floor is completely up to you. I like to make sure my stomach stays in, so I tend to keep these a little bit more shallow in the lower body. Fingers behind the head, lift your upper body, look down at your belly button to protect your neck, and we're going to lower and lift the legs here. So we take it down and up, and two, and squeeze, and three, and squeeze, four, and lift. We're almost done. Five, and lift, six, and lift. We're going to get four more here. So four, and Lift, three, and lift, two, and lift, one, and lift. Good, pull the knees in. All right, so 
And we're going to go back into a little bit of that uh, dancer position, first position. So readjust the loop so it's right on the meaty part of your calf muscle. Your calves are not going to let it go anywhere. We're going to take the heels of the feet together and the toes are turning apart. So you have that nice little first position turnout. Now all I'm going to do here is hold the first position turnout, butterfly my arms open on the way down, and on the way up I'm going to crunch my elbows to my knees. The whole time doing the upper body work, my lower body stays here, pressing out against that loop in first position. Three, two, one. So we squeeze in. One, this is our last exercise, so let's do 15 and two and three. So we butterfly out. Now we pull the wings in. Four and five. You feel this a lot in your core right now. Six and seven. Okay, breathe through. Eight. We have seven more and then we're done. Come on. Here's seven and Six, exhale on the way up, and five, and four, and three, and two, one more, and one. Woo, all right, and relax. You can slide the loop off while you're laying on your back. If you need to roll up, that's fine. All right, we're gonna do a little figure four stretch, so we'll bend the knee that's facing the screen and place that ankle so it's over your supporting bent up leg. Make sure that when you cross over the ankle, the ankle bone itself isn't on the thigh. You want that to be hang, hanging over a little bit, off of it. And then pull your base leg up and let your knee, the, the knee that's facing the screen, let that just track where it needs to go. Right? So you see a lot of people sometimes they push on the front knee, right? So all that's gonna do is create a lot of tension in your hip. So we just wanna feel that nice stretch on the glute knees. And then you can put your base foot down and elevate the leg that you were just stretching in the glute on. Pull the leg into a little hamstring stretch. And same thing, stretching is made to be gentle, right? Once it becomes too forceful, it becomes an isometric work or contraction, and then you're not stretching. So, and release, and let's just switch sides with those two stretches. So we'll take, again, a little bit of a figure four, pull the base leg up. And again, just let that top knee track where it needs to, as well as your ankle too. Let that track where it needs to go. And release, so we'll elevate the leg now. A little hamstring stretch, just nice and gentle. And we're gonna use this top leg, bend the knee as a lever to roll up. So it's pulling up on a rope. We'll go one more stretch here, nice little butterfly stretch. Come forward. This stretch always feels so good. It doesn't matter what class you do. <laughs> you do this butterfly stretch, it just feels wonderful. And release. So thanks for hanging out with us at Gladiator Glutes. And we will be back tomorrow. I have a funny feeling we're gonna be getting our sweat on tomorrow big time. <laughs>